The world has lost one of its brightest, sharpest minds, said Larry Finlay on Terry Pratchett's death. Terry Pratchett went to Heimerken Technical School, a sort of semi-grand school that was very focused on design, and now is our very own John Hamden Grammar School. Here we see Terry Pratchett in the 1960 school photo. some very strict teachers, including the headmaster at the time. It was said that Terry Pratchett once took an encyclopedia that was placed in a bin by the headmaster, apparently only to be chased and beaten for stealing school property. Here we see some characters characterised by teachers or pupils that he experienced at his school time. Kwa is a student who in 2011 met Sir Terry Pratchett at the school. Oh, we're going to speak to him now and ask him some questions. Um, so when you met him, what was uh, your overall impression of him as a person? Um, I thought that he was a very, very um, kind and generous man. When he first um, came into the room, he was a, a little bit shy because obviously he, he hadn't been in, the, in our surroundings for quite a long time. But once he um, settled into the surroundings, he was a very um, amicable a really, really, really nice man. Okay. And so, would it be fair to say that he didn't seem like a very famous person as such? But um, no, yeah, um, I think that he was quite personal with us on a level we chatted. He made a joke about where he was uh, placing his hands because it was a photo shoot. So, um, he made a joke about um, placing his um, hands in the right place. So, it wasn't, it didn't feel like I was meeting his a celebrity but more like an old friend. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, have you read any of his books? I haven't actually but my sister was a huge fan of him when she, when she was younger so um, I'm going to, uh, I think that she's still got some of the books so I'm going to go and loan them off her and hopefully it should be a, an absolutely fascinating read. And uh, has he inspired you in any way to I think, read or write anything? I think on first impressions he he did seem like, you know, one of your, you know, uh, general sort of people. He, he, he didn't seem like a celebrity and that's what really fascinated me about him because he could just talk to you on a, uh, on a personal level. He didn't, he wasn't too, you know, uh, pompous with you. So yeah, I think I could take on board some of his um, personal skills and just put them into my own uh, writing because I would actually like to be in the future a writer of maybe um, a column in a newspaper or a short novel so yeah I could definitely uh, take his in, uh, his enthusiasm for for the books and just uh, put that into my own work absolutely thank you thank you uh, as well as reading so Terry also showed a large amount of interest in debating at school he talked about issues are still talked about to this day, even though he started talking about them 50 years ago. He talked about Commonwealth immigration, racial segregation, and benefits that people were receiving. These all this shows that Terry was a confident individual who expressed controversial and relatable debates. Terry Pratchett did not enjoy school as much as he might have, and has attributed much of his learning to the library and bookshop in which he spent most of his time. Therefore, it's fair to say that, aside from one or two teachers that supported his work, the largest contribution that many of his teachers made was providing very interesting characters for later on in his Discworld stories. As Sir Terry grew older, he did not lose the wonderful compassion that he held for the rest of his life and donated one million dollars to Alzheimer's Research UK in 2008. His death inspired many donations to the Rice Dementia Charity, amounting to £40,000 in a number of days, showing that his legacy will continue even past his death. In the words of the man himself, it is said that your life flashes before your eyes, just before you die. That is true, it's called life.